This is to answer answer a viewer's question. I wish I had his name on the screen because I usually like to to give them credit for the question. Uh, but basically, uh, if you're familiar with Blender or have watched some of my tutorials, when you import a texture, an image, into Blender, you can package it into the Blend file. So it makes the Blend file a bit bigger, but you don't have to worry about uh, linking those images when you move the file from one system to another. Uh, this viewer asked, if you are able to do that with sound files for when you're creating a video game? And the answer is yes. If you watched my previous tutorial on putting sounds into the game, um, I used a Pygame script to play audible sounds uh, in the Blender game engine. Uh, the reason for this, well, Blender does have a built-in uh, wave player, but uh, back when I was first learning Blender, it was broke. It didn't work. So I just got used to using the script, but I just tried it again, and it seems like at least Blender 2.492 uh, is what I'm running, that uh, this feature does work, and you can package the sound file into the Blend file. Now, uh, I believe it only takes WAV files, so if you have any MP3s you want in the game, you're going to have to... Um, convert them to WAV file easy enough with FFmpeg. But let's get started. Here's our default scene. What we're going to do is we're going to click over here. This is our uh, scene window, F10. And right here we have sound block button. Click that. We're going to click here. We're going to go open new. And now we have to fi find a sound file. So I am going to go to a folder I have some drum sounds in. Uh, I believe I recorded these from uh, possibly hydrogen. So we have some snares and some cymbals. Let me grab a snare sound here. I'll grab this snare to wave. Select wave. You can see I converted one to an mp3 just to double check, but it gives you an error if you try to open up an mp3. We'll select it. Now you can click play. And I uh, don't know how well you can hear that in the microphone, but we have the sound there. Now, just like images, we have this pack this, and it will add that wave file to the blend file. Once again, making the blend file a little bit larger, but saving you the hassle of losing uh, wave files that are part of your project. You can adjust the pitch and volume here, but you can also adjust it uh, in the game editor here. So let's go to our logic editor. So that's, that is taking the sound and putting it into our blend file. Now let's link it into the game. We're going to go add, add, add. And for our sensor, let's use the keyboard. I'm going to just click key here and hit spacebar. So that sets it. This will happen every time you click spacebar. What's going to happen? We'll connect this here to the controller and then to the actuator. And we're going to go click where it says motion and we'll go up to sound. And you have this little drop down box here. And you can see the file that we have imported. And that will show up even if you don't package it. Uh, but once again, packaging it can uh, be a good thing or bad thing depending on what you're trying to accomplish. Uh, so now we have. Every time we hit spacebar in the game engine, it's going to play this wave file at this volume and this pitch. This is universal. If you change the pitch here, it will change it everywhere in the blend file. Keep that in mind. Uh, and our options, we have some options here. By default, it's play stop, and I'll show you what that is. Come up here, put the cursor over a 3D window, and hit P. Now when I hit spacebar, it plays that snare sound. I can click a whole bunch. You'll notice that if I click and hold, it plays the whole snare sound. If I click and let go real quick, it doesn't play the whole sound. If you guys can hear that in the microphone, I apologize if you can't. Um, if you want it to complete the sound, uh, even if you don't hold down the button, so let's say you have a three second recording and you hold down the button for one second, if you want it to play the full three seconds, choose play end. That means it will play the sound to the end every time. Another option is loop stop and loop end. Uh, basically, if we do loop stop, we'll press, once again, come up here, hit P, and also to get out of game mode, hit escape at any time. But if I hold down the space bar, now it will loop it. But if I let go in the middle of one of the sounds, it will only play up to that point. If you want it to always complete the sound and loop, just choose loop end. 
Okay. And then you have two other options up here, loop, ping pong, stop, and loop, ping pong. I have no clue what those do. It seems to be a regular loop to me. It doesn't seem to be ping ponging anything. I know with IPO uh, uh, key frames in the game engine, uh, ping pong means it goes back and forth. So I was kind of expecting it to play the wave one way and then play it backwards and then forwards and then backwards. It doesn't seem to do that. I don't know if that's what it's supposed to do. But mainly, for the most part, you're going to be using play, stop, play, end, loop, stop, loop, end. Let's take it a bit farther. I'm going to click over here again, and I'm going to change this key to Z. So I just click down there and then press Z. Let's go back into our scene sound block, and we'll add open. I'll add snare one here. Import it. Let's play it. Sounds a lot like the other one. Let's lower the pitch some. We'll package it in there. We'll open another one. We'll open this sim here. A little symbol sound. Package it in there. Open another one. We'll open this sim 3. And it's another sim sound. We'll package that in there. So we have one sensor. We have set a key to when you hit Z. Let's add a, another sensor keyboard. And we'll make it when you press X. Let's just quickly add two more here. One for each sound, we'll hit C, and we'll hit keyboard here, and V. And if you realize, those are the bottom three keys on your character keys on your keyboard there. We'll add three of these, add three of these, change them to sound, sound, center click to drag this up and go sound. Where is it? There we go. Here we'll choose symbol one. Here we'll choose symbol or sim three. And here we'll choose snare one. Be sure to connect all these properly. And what we just created is our own little drum machine that we can play music by hitting keys on our keyboard. The Z, X, C, and V. Come up here, hit P to start your game engine and just start banging away. So I'm not a musician, but turn that up a little bit, maybe you can hear it better. So anyway, lower that back down. That is uh, working with sounds without any scripts, packaging the sounds into your Blender file, and making a little drum machine. Of course, you can link this to other things if you have a machine gun or some other type of gun or just character noises for your game. I thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a great day. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There should be a link in the description. Also, check out our forums at filmsbychris.com forward slash forum. I ask that if you have questions, please post them in the forum. If you just have comments saying thank you for the video, good job, your video sucks, whatever, comment here. But if you have questions, please post in the forum. It makes things easier. Um, also, uh, feel free to ask questions in our IRC channel. We're at Freenode, so uh, log on to Freenode, and the channel is Films by Chris. So I thank you for watching, and have a great day.